Yellowstone supervolcano could be struck by huge hydrothermal eruption. Dr. Michael Poland, a geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Cascades Volcano Observatory, said the risk of this type of explosion is bigger than any other. A hydrothermal eruption differs from a magma explosion as they come from the underground reservoirs of boiling hot water or steam that burst outwards due to pressure. One of the largest hydrothermal eruption events happened at Yellowstone and formed a 1.5-mile crater approximately 13,000 years ago. Speaking to Daily Star Online, Dr. Poland said smaller hydrothermal eruptions leaving craters just a few meters wide happen annually, but that a much bigger one could occur. Yellowstone, the supervolcano could be hit by a massive hydrothermal eruption. He said, most hydrothermal explosions are very small. Those are not uncommon. These would affect anyone standing within a few meters because it throws rocks up into the air and scalding water. But here are some bigger, craters, that are a few hundred meters in diameter so this attests to a very large volume of water. Dr. Poland said it is one of those types of eruptions that would be far more destructive to life of any kind. A massive hydrothermal explosion would shoot rocks and water out of the ground at high speed, which would cover a much bigger area. The direct area of the crater would be devastated and some of the deposits from the explosion would be found a few kilometers from the source crater, he explained. As you move farther away, the impact will lessen. So if you're within a few kilometers, you would definitely be subject to these impacts, ballistic, basically large rocks that are flying through the air, and little surges of ash that would be extraordinarily harmful to any life. Dr. Poland's comments come amid fears Yellowstone is overdue a devastating super eruption. The last time one of these cataclysmic events occurred was roughly 600,000 years ago and saw molten lava and ash spewed for miles around. NASA has revealed a potential plan to stop the volcano from exploding, which includes drilling into the bottom to release heat from it. Fears were immediately raised the risky plan could actually backfire and trigger an eruption potentially triggering a deadly nuclear winter. Despite warning something must be done about the Yellowstone threat, Brian Wilcox, an ex-member of the NASA Advisory Council on Planetary Defense, warned the plan could cause an eruption.